the U.S. has struggled with drought this year, and it's looking like we're in for a super dry winter. What does that mean exactly? According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, aka NOAA, a lot of the American West is gonna be low on precipitation this coming winter. I know for some people that's great because it means less snow to shovel, but less winter precipitation means less water for a lot of these states next spring. Places like California, Texas, Nevada, Utah are predicted to be especially dry in the coming months. But so many lakes and reservoirs out West rely on it to snow. Put it this way, ice and snow piles up on different mountain ranges across the west. The spring comes. A lot of that snow melts and it feeds into different water sources like reservoirs. And because the west is experiencing an ongoing mega drought, that drought is going to persist into the winter. And the situation is a lot like a snake biting its tail. A dry winter means a dry spring, and then a dry spring means a dry summer. And that means that low water levels are going to stress reservoirs and water sources throughout the winter and into next year. But a lot of the conditions going on this year are based on last year. Last year was a very dry winter. This past March, a bunch of officials went out to the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. They were looking at the snowpack around Lake Tahoe. It's supposed to be several feet by early March, and they only found a few inches of snow. That meant that there was going to be less snow melt to feed into the different reservoirs across the state. And these conditions are fueled by different factors. Climate change helps fuel extreme drought. And just this year, scientists connected more than 40% of the drought conditions that we're seeing to human-caused climate change. This is also affected by La Nina. It's a weather pattern that brings more storms and more drought, which means we get a longer lasting dry condition. And so we're in for another dry spring in 2023. Thanks for watching Extreme Earth. We're sorry that we have to constantly remind you about all this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.